Hi, James here from the ShareLingo Project. Okay, uh, I did a Facebook Live the other night to help people who are doing the free workshop this week, but some people have come back to me and told me they haven't had time to watch that whole Facebook Live or watch uh, the first module in the workshop yet, and they did have a couple of questions about the Spanish success path and the five steps that are in this path. So I thought I would do a real quick YouTube video to help um, explain this sequence, these five easy steps and how they build on each other. This is kind of a summary. And then if you agree with this, then you can jump into uh, the first workshop and I'll talk in a lot more detail about these five steps. So let's get started. In the Pan Spanish success path, all right? And you might see it in this format. Uh, you might see more of a graphic format, or you might also see it in a more detailed linear format, but it all comes down to five easy steps and they build on each other. And that's why uh, for this workshop, I'm using this kind of target graph to see how one stage builds on the next stage. So let's start with knowing your why. That is the middle step. This is where you have to begin because why you want to speak Spanish is so important, all right? It's like, Jay, I wish I could speak Spanish. Well, why? Because a nurse has a very different purpose for speaking Spanish than, say, um, somebody who wants to go on a six-month mission trip or, say, a school teacher. Um, yes, they all want to speak Spanish, but by knowing their specific why they want to speak Spanish, that helps them with the next stage. And stage number two is knowing that there are two parts of this language learning puzzle. And this is where so many people get stuck. There's the foundation, which is the stuff, the base. Um, it's the vocabulary and grammar. And then the second part is practice. And a lot of people get those two things backwards. They try and do a lot of the, voc the um, foundation part uh, which is your apps and your computers and building vocabulary before they go get the practice part. And really, what you have to do is switch that around. You need to find some people to practice with and um, then you can go get more vocabulary to practice with them. And this is why it builds on step number one, knowing your why. What you want to practice is not the generic stuff that's in all of the apps and computers. If you know your why, like to be a great nurse, then that's gonna help you focus on the vocabulary that you want to learn right away. And that makes everything go a lot faster, right? The third thing uh, in this success path is understanding uh, how people learn pretty much anything, but especially a language. And that is that we do this, um, it's called progression theory, but we boil it down to little by little. Here's the thing, it's so much better for you to learn one thing well than to try and learn 300 things at one time. And you will actually go faster in your process if you can learn and practice one word or phrase at a time. So, um, well, I think you get that, all right? Don't try and flood your mind with everything all at once. Think about what would help you in your quest, uh, say it's for your job, what would help you get closer to your goal if you learned how to say that one thing today, All right? And so step number three is knowing that little by little actually makes you go faster than trying to do a whole bunch of things at once. Now, step number four, we need to do before step number five. Um, but let me talk about step number five first. Step number five is all about understanding how easy it is to go find Spanish speakers who want to practice with you. We're going to change your thinking from where can I find a Spanish speaker that can help me and we're just going to change it to where can I find Spanish speakers that need help because if we're going to help people it's so much easier than asking for help. We feel good about helping people. And so I'll explain that in a lot more detail in module number one in this free training. But then, step number four, before we go find the people that we want to help, 
We want to have a model, a method, and materials, a plan for how we're going to work together when we find those people. And that makes these practice times that we have, whether those practice times are online, over Skype or Zoom or FaceTime or WhatsApp, or face-to-face -face in your community. That could be at your job, it could be your neighbors, it could be just anywhere in a resource center, face-to-face um, -face or online. It doesn't matter. I mean, face-to-face -face is better because you become you know, friends with each other and you can go have a coffee together, but the model can be just as effective if you're practicing online. Okay, these are the five steps that will change speaking Spanish comfortably from something that might be kind of difficult right now to something that can be super easy for you. It's just, it's just easy to go through these five steps, know what you want to practice, know how to practice, know how to find people to practice with, and then just do it and enjoy it. Okay, I'm James from the ShareLingo Project, and nos vemos pronto. Ciao.